Hello, today I'm going to read you a story about a boy called Billy who worried loads. He had so many worries, the parents didn't know what to do, how to help him. Let's listen to the story. Silly Billy by Anthony Brown. Silly Billy. Billy used to be a bit of a worrier. He worried about many things. Billy worried about hats and he worried about shoes. Billy worried about clouds and rain. Look, he worried in my flooded bedroom. Billy even worried about giant birds. got some fears, hasn't he? His dad tried to help. Don't worry, lad, he said. None of those things could happen. It's just your imagination. His mum tried too. Don't worry, love, she said. We won't let anything hurt you. But still, Billy worried. One night, he had to stay with his grandma but Billy couldn't sleep. He was too worried. He always worried about staying at other people's houses. Billy felt a bit silly, but at last he got up and went to tell his grandma. Well, fancy that, love, she said. You're not silly. When I was your age, I used to worry like that. I've got just a thing for you. She went into her room and came out holding something. These are worry dolls, she explained. Just tell each one of them one of your worries and put them under your pillow. They will do all the worrying for you while you sleep. Billy told all his worries to the worry dolls. He slept like a log. Next morning, Billy went home. That night, he again told all his worry to the worries to the dolls. He slept like a stone. The next night, Billy slept well, and the night after that. But the night after that, Billy started to worry. He couldn't stop thinking about the dolls. All those worries he'd given them. They must be so worried. It didn't seem fair. Look, he even gave names to all his worry dolls. That's Colleen and Polly and Lizzie and Mary and Sammy and Teddy. They're all worried. The next day, Billy had an idea. He spent all day working at the kitchen table. It was difficult work at first and he made lots of mistakes and had to start again many times. But finally, Billy produced something very special. I wonder what that was. Look, there's a lot of drawing and sticking. He's done something. Interesting. Some worry dolls for the worry dolls. Oh, loads of them. Loads of new, tiny worry dolls. He hopes they'll take all the worries away from the worry dolls as well as from him now. That night, everyone slept well. Billy and all the worry dolls. And after that, Billy didn't worry very much at all. And neither did his friends. Billy made worry dolls for all of them. And that was the end. Just to tell you the fact now, the worry dolls come from the Central American country of Guatemala. 
They are made of tiny pieces of wood and scraps of cloth and thread. And long ago, the children in Guatemala started making those little worried dolls before they went to bed. You know, so they could tell, tell all their worries to the worry doll, then put them under the pillow and they could sleep well through the night. And they still do. Hi. I hope you enjoyed listening to his story about Billy. I hope his worries are now cured. I wonder if you would like to make a worry dolly and put it under your pillow. If you've got any worries, you can tell it to your dolly. Put it under your pillow and hopefully you have no worries left. See you later. Bye.